Welcome to the Austin South by Southwest 2019 fun times we've been having here on Fanboy TV. We are at the ACL Live Moody Theater, and we are amazed to be here because this is our last interview of the week, and we're going out with a bang. Because I told you guys, if you guys like music and you like photography, you're not going to want to miss this. So I am joined by these two amazing people. So introduce yourselves and tell everyone a little bit about what this movie is. Close to me. Okay, thank you. I'm Amelia Davis, and I was uh, the amazing photographer Jim Marshall's his assistant for the last 13 years of his life. Um, and when Jim passed away in 2010, he left me his entire archive and estate um, because Jim never had any children. He said his photographs were his children, and the only person he trusted to take care of his children when he was gone was me. So that's a big I, responsibility. <laughs> that's no. a big, big responsibility. So um, for me, this this film really um, is very personal, and it and it highlights who Jim was, what an amazing photographer he was, and it's we're sharing Jim's children with the world, and uh, it, it means a lot. And and I'm really happy to be premiering it here at South by Southwest. Awesome. And we're also joined by Alfred George Bailey. I'm the director and uh, sometimes cinematographer and photographer. Isn't it when you're directing, you kind of, kind of have to take all the roles on sometimes? I think for my first film I did, which Amelia saw, which is the reason why I got this. And when we met, we got along really well. And I was just fascinated with Jim's work. But the, the funny thing was, I didn't realize the breadth of the work that he did. I didn't realize how many of these jazz photographs and jazz greats and giants that he shot. So at, when I was invited to the exhibition in London at the Mayfair Gallery, like a gallery in Mayfair, um, I was literally pressing my face up against the photographs and looking at how deep the blacks were and how just the, the beautiful texture of them and, and the way he just captured these people who I've idolized. And um, it was just amazing. And then we got to speak. And we spoke for a long time, actually. And then we swapped details. And uh, Amelia promised to see the, f she said, I'll have a look at your film, your first film. And then two weeks later, I got this really amazing email and I couldn't believe that she was said, I need to speak to you about something. And we spoke. And I think it was for the first two months, I kept asking, are you sure you want me to do it? Because <laughs> I couldn't believe that I, something like this had happened. It was an, it's an incredible honor. Uh, it's, it's a big film, it's yeah. a big project. Yeah. yeah. Starting out, I mean, there's so much. He had such a passion, and there's so much to go through. Was it kind of daunting to figure out where exactly to start, or did you just be like, let's just do here? Amelia yeah. and I knew from the really from the very beginning because we'd spoken so many times. We did lots of FaceTime conversations, so we knew that we wanted to get um, Jim's death out of the way straight up, right up. But we don't want to say anymore, just in case people. Yeah, need it's. To I gotta not say, but it, we'll just say this part that we wanted to get a few things out in the open straight away about Jim. So you knew exactly who you're going to be seeing mm -hmm. and the kind of man you're going to be seeing, but then you're going on a journey. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I mean to take over because there's a lot No, of it's, it's a good journey because my next yeah. question is for you. Huh? You've, he's been for you. Okay. <laughs> They're like, these pictures behind us are from him. They go down the hallway. He had such an interesting legacy and he had such a good eye for capturing the right things when it wasn't a commonplace thing to do. Right. What was it like to really be with him all of those years and just be inspired? It was, it, it was amazing. I, when I first met Jim, um, I was a photographer myself, I am, mm -hmm. um, and I had just been diagnosed with MS. And uh, so I was doing project, my mother had been, had breast cancer, so I had done, I was very different photography. So I had done a book on breast cancer and I was doing a book on people living with MS. So when I met Jim, I told him I have MS. He goes, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> and so through working with him, he saw on a daily basis what it was like. But he really supported and encouraged the work that I did because it was about reality. It was about what's mm -hmm. happening in the moment and, and really showing people through photography which is basically what Jim has done. He's documented pieces of history through his photography. So most people just know him for his music. Mm -hmm. And what they don't know, and what I'm hoping through this uh, film they'll see, is he documented very important pieces of history, civil rights, yeah. um, music, 
uh, just so many different things, uh, and and I think it's going to be exciting and very different for people, and exciting to see this this film. I, I'm excited for people to see it, and so when you make films, you always end up finding something you didn't quite know. Was there something you learned during this film about him that you're like, oh wow, that's pretty cool? An immense amount. It was, I mean, it's been quite an amazing journey, and Amelia has been so basically open, and we. From the very beginning, I, uh, we asked. Uh, I said to Amina, "Can we speak about everything about Jim?" And she says, "Yeah, because we want to." We did the thing about this film. It's about the man. Mm -hmm. It really is about him and um, his journey, his struggles, his personal struggles, and his creative um, outpourings. You know, which basically channeled all of the stuff that he had inside—the anger, the love, mm -hmm. you know, the disappointment. There's a lot of that in the film, but I'm not going to say any more about that. But yeah, I learned so much about what made him tick, mm -hmm. how he did things. There's lots of stuff opened up about Jim that one person can't be a perfect person to make a film. I think today they want everybody to be very shiny and smooth and they don't have any problems. It doesn't exist. They want that sure coded reality. Thank you. And basically to make the images he created, you have to... You have to have faults in yourself as well, and he did. He had a lot of faults, but he also had a huge amount of love. But he owned his faults too, and I think that's what's Absolutely. what's unique about Jim is he was all there, you know. And, and this is me. You get what you get, and and so in the film you you see that, and it's 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 refreshing and authentic. Yeah, he was a real deal. Yeah. So two last questions that kind of go together. First, with the way the music industry has changed and technology has changed, do you think he'd still be taken? No, he, he was not digital at all. And, you know, before he died mm -hmm. in 2010, so Leica had come out, he was a Leica user, completely manual, yeah. viewfinder, no SLR, nothing. Um, and Leica would give him digital cameras, and he just, he could just no. he could not do it. He just couldn't get into it. So um, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Like, I this these take great pictures, but we have an actual photographer who, and her pictures are light <laughs> years difference. But the second part of that question, with today's technology and the overflow of everyone having a phone yeah. camera in their hand, do you think we'll find another talent like him? No, no I don't. No, it's impossible. no. It, yeah, because J what Jim, he was completely self-taught. Mm -hmm. So he bought his first Leica in 1959, and he basically went out and shot and taught himself everything. So when he looked, he was able to compose in the viewfinder what you see in the photograph. He didn't. He never did any cropping. He never did dodging and burning. He and I just. I don't think you can do that today. That's so commonplace today. It's like not <laughs> even funny. <laughs> well, they, they take the picture. There's, there's apps, apps that do that. There's yeah. apps on Instagram, right. ad filter. Like, that's why I think it's kind of a, a little bit of a loss yeah. from the transition. I mean, I'm all about technology, but these they're irreplaceable. Yeah. There's no way. I like Jim, I shoot like and I'm a documentary photographer, and I do behind. Thank you. And I'm a music photographer as well, but I like the thing I think what Amelia likes about me. I never do pit photography. Mm -hmm. I always want to do behind the scenes, being an ex drummer, having relationships with musicians. So they'll call me up and say, We're doing a rehearsal. Do you want to come and take some photos? So they ignore me. Jim had that thing where he was invisible. Mm -hmm. And that's built over years to have that thing where people just ignore you. So when you're taking a photograph of them, it's true. It's a true reflection of someone's feelings, their personal emotions, whether they're in a good mood, bad mood, and you see that in his work. I mean, immediately it's there. everything. So, you know, you'll you see it. And it is very, it is the decisive moment, what yeah. Carte Brisson said, and, and you can't redo it, especially with live music. Mm -hmm. You can't do a do-over. Yeah, it's that's what's done is done. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's thing about live. You're done. You mess up, you own it. Like, that's yeah. the way it is. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys for this opportunity, no, no, and thank you. thank you. I hope and it premieres tonight, right? Tonight, That's right. yes. I can't wait for people to watch it. They'll be like, well, I've seen that picture somewhere. Now they can put everything behind it and yeah. keep up the good work. Thank you. Good luck with the legacy. Thank you. And keep up the good work. Good luck with <laughs> more films. And Thanks that's so it much. for our interview for South by Southwest. We'll be back from the gaming convention later this afternoon.